Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jelly TV. I am Jaylev and this is Football Manager 2021, the UFA save with Sienna. I apologize first and foremost for taking so long with this video. I just got burnt out a little bit making videos, so I thought I needed to have a little break. I want to get some fresh ideas as well and to see if I can present things differently. So far, I don't think I've found anything of use, but I might try to do something different in 2022 or FM 2022. I've got a few ideas for a beta save now, which is nice. But I won't go over that until the end of the season because I want to make sure that the thing that I'm looking to do is still there. We are taking on St. Doria today in our first ever game in our new stadium. And we are going to see if we can get the Europa League draw today, which should be possible. We've had some moves in the transfer market, aka we sold some players. And we've made some moves for back from the start. So let's go over that very quickly before we go over the first game of the season. And look at this in the preview, all right? So setting players, we are pretty good at that, apparently. Picanero left us, never good enough for the team. Quite frankly, he left us on the free. I'm looking at transfers, really, like permanent ones, before I go anything else. There's about four of them. Cardi left us for Sotorel, and he wasn't signing a new contract for whatever reason. I couldn't get him to sign a new contract. But at the end of the day, I don't think I'm really losing much when I get to say I got rid of him. So he's gone now. Bye-bye. Never come back. What a waste of a talent that is, though, to get upset and never want to sign a new contract. He's listed for loan already, so he'll probably go out on loan to the third tier of Italian football. We also sold Nica Fernazzo, who I generally thought had potential at one point, but then he just wasn't developing. The players around it developed, and he just couldn't get better. So he's now sold to Tony, who have loaned him out immediately to Sembereste. So yay for that. At least he's game football. It's just a shame that we couldn't really find a use for him, really, and I just didn't have faith in his potential, so what can you do? We also sold Dario Benucci for 130000 Doesn't seem like a lot, but for a player that doesn't have much potential, I think I'm okay with that. It's his value now, so I think I've got a good value for him at the time, and given that pressure, we're willing to spend that much money on him, on a player that I never used, and was probably never going to use, it's kind of a good deal here for us. Those are all the permanent moves that were done. Now let's look at the backroom staff because there's been quite a few of those as well. So Logan Fry left us to become the sports scientist of Paris Saint-Germain. Again, I can't blame him. I think I covered this in the last video, but if, it, if I didn't, then I didn't. I just couldn't remember if I had or not, so I thought it was a good thing to cover this guy again. He isn't even the best sports scientist, and I think we've got someone better as a result. I mean, we kind of got a better person in response. Scott Brady. Is it Brady? I think it's Brady. Scott Brady is a new sports scientist at the club. He's Scottish, and apparently he didn't have a club before us, and he's got three and a half star reputation. I don't know what to make of that. I'm certain he had a club beforehand, but apparently he hasn't. So, how this guy hadn't had a club beforehand, if that is the case, that's beyond me. No, he's at Celtic. What am I talking about? He's at Celtic, he even says here, but it sounds like he doesn't want to show up for some reason. Nicholas Brent we got from Stuttgart? Because they're Chiefs guy and then end up signing for us as a scout. I am very surprised by this one, but I'm not complaining. He is definitely a good scout and one we can help will be us, make us better, you know. Sam Rose was the other scout that we brought in. He was a personality for so long. And yeah, he's retired as a coach and then became a scout. And he was just good for us. So made sense to bring this guy in, really. The last person we brought is Rosat. Rosat? We said Igmondov? I have no idea, I'm going to be honest if you say this, I have no idea if his name is actually broken or not, but he's, a, as a, he's an Azerbaijani coach who looks decent. He's only, he's unambitious unfortunately, but he's got a national A license, he's an under 18s coach. We were promoting coaches after we others left us, and I just thought it was a good thing to try and do, you know, so this is the last guy brought in. I like the look of him, it's just a shame he's got unambitious personality and his only on a national A license. If we can get the Continental Pro license and he becomes a superstar, that's amazing for us. But 121 caps for the Azerbaijani national team. I think he's got a good. I think he's got a good record there. So, yeah, definitely playing the Champions League numerous times, and I think he can do well for the development of young players as long as his unambitious personality does not cause us problems. So the league preview looks like this. We are predicted to be in 13th place, which is kind of nice actually. Since, you know, I was expecting to be worse. I mean, I've also gone down to 200 to 1, which is not ideal. And in fact, we've actually gone up a place. It was 150 to 1, mind you, but we were expected to be in 14th place. But then Santoya sold Petro Flores, 
And yeah, no, I feel a little bad for Sampdoria, not Petro Flores, because now he is in a situation where he can't really do much, you know? It is one of those things. Ah, also, I need to talk about this because it will affect where I go for future saves in the for FM2022, okay? We've got a new fitted in Coma, which means Sweden is now on the cards for things we can do and places we can go to in the situation, you know? We also lost St. Gallen and Verce BK as affiliates, which is a bit of a shame because I think one of them definitely will give me some good players, but Coma, definitely a team that I'm happy we got as affiliates, which honestly to honestly God means that we can now say we're good. Still, still we're gonna take on Santori today. We're gonna see who we get in the Europa League and we're gonna do well. First ever game in the new stadium. We've even got a new background for this as well because it's a bigger stadium and all that stuff. So we own our stadium for once. And hopefully it's going to go well. Also, Dai's back. He's suspended. Mapelli's suspended. Polino is suspended. The second he's injured. So we're about four of our better players for the first game of the season, which is not ideal to say the least. But hopefully, 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 we can win. Let's see what you do, shall we? So the new stadium's here. It honestly doesn't feel much different than the other one, but admittedly, it is about 8,000 season more. So hopefully this will be something to be excited about. I'm looking forward to seeing how we do against a team that is playing that formation. Oh god, okay. This could be difficult. We've already seen two games played. Manan, Napoli, Juventus and Bologna have all drawn against each other, which is useful because it means we can go above them after one game. If it does happen, that's amazing itself, but what can you do? We've got a throw. Margot had to take it. Here's Viatina. This feels so weird to play in a stadium now that we've got a new one, you know? After playing so many years in the other stadium, and actually only this stadium's amazing, a bot scores the first goal. In the new stadium, 1-0 to Siena. The era has started, and it started with us getting the goal. And a bot is now 99 goals away from Jack Oliver's record, which is still remarkable when you say that. But I lose the through ball, John a bot with a simple chance, and he scores inside the nine minutes. 1-0. First goal of the day, actually, as well, believe it or not. So we are coming to the top of the table as things stand. Hooray for this. Brunette, though. Ayalu, Zotchi. Plays the ball forward. I guess not getting to that. And that's kind of a bad idea, really. And Amelius with Charles and Verteriti showing why he has been a number one goalkeeper, even at the age of 31. And his ability proving why he is so needed again and again and again. And the ball's been the way. And can we do something about like this? Decker? No, free kick given away by Viatina. I understand 100%. So our teams have now scored. Decker with the free kick. And that. Is a let off. That's a massive let off. They got another corner. They seem to be coming into this more free kicks and set pieces, and that's why Gitz definitely gets to this. And his first of a goal for the club. We've considered an equaliser, and I think our problems of last year might be coming back to haunt us again this year, which is disappointing. And the worst part is we actually had what three players to stop him, and they still didn't stop him. Disappointing, we say the least. So half time, it's one all. We're the better team at the first part, and then they just start to come into their own. And they just had chances. We really need to start doing the best in that. They got a free kick. Lucy has had a horror game so far, though. I might have to take him off in a bit. Was that so Zotti just gave the ball to Catalon? Oh my god. Okay. I know that this is not our best squad, but Zotti's hit the ball away. Is this going straight to Catalana? What the hell? They've got a corner. I've got very attacking. This is going to go bad, isn't it? Saves. Can we do something with this, though? We need to do something quickly. Lens, the uh, bot's on the ball. Had so much time to space himself. Still going. Finds Viatina. He's equalised. A bot has made his place his own already. A goal and assist to his name. We've equalised. It's 2-2. Two -two. I'm going to go very attacking because I want to make sure we do this properly. And see, Luis is having a bad game. My best player is having a bad game, which is not ideal to say the least. But a bot proving why he's still so useful. We hit them with a the counter. Find their own set piece. Really good stuff. We've got a throw. De Luigi takes it. Here's for Sensei, who was actually one by Juventus. But he's going to sign a new deal for us. Here's De Luigi. Ayalu. Margiotta. Finds Beckers. is making the debut. Oh, what a ball by Beckers. Biting. What a save. Beckers' ball, though. That was something else. He's a playmaker heart, but he's definitely showing why he's really highly regarded by us. And our backroom stuff, but bloody hell. All right, let's not go. Let's go back to positive. Just in case they try and hit us on the counter or something. 
Okay, so a 2-2 two -two draw is not terrible. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible either. So we've survived, effectively. I can't believe I was just saying I su we survived. And do it. It's not a good start for our campaign, is it? Well, it's all right. Not great. Not a great start for us in that regard. Not happy with the team at all. We need to do better than that. Even if we are, what, without four players, we should still be doing better than this. Come on. Okay, so a new attendance record of 27,286 people. I am going to talk about this now because I don't want to talk about this. The new badge. The new badge. That's actually the real badge. And I don't like it one bit. It's not ideal, is it, really? To have that kind of badge. But yes, we have got a new badge. And we have also got to acknowledge that the legend has retired this year. And you know who that legend is, because he's the very first legend ever to get in. Jack Oliver retired this season after many, many years in Belgium, after leaving us in 2042 after I sold him. He's now officially retired, and he had a good career, a very good career. It's just a shame that he only won one trophy, and that was the third tier of Italian football with us. That is literally our only trophy still, and it says it all. That's the only trophy we've ever managed to obtain. It wasn't as prolific for well, Antwerp, but he still did a very good job for them. And Roberto Bondi also retired in the same year too, so that's a thing. But yes, what we're going to do now is we're going to go forward to the Europa League draws and we're going to see who we get in Europa League. Hopefully, for once, it's a nice draw for us. Oh, and uh, for Sensi, also is no longer wanting to leave us because we gave him a new contract. 14,000 was apparently all we needed to give our wonder kid, or at least one of our potential wonder kids. Who knew that money was an incentive, eh? Okay, so Europa League draw has been, has been done. Now, we are one of the third seeds, so we could have an interesting situation in our hands. We are looking at the first two draws. And Sociedad, Benfica, Reading, RB Leipzig, Groningen, Bernier, Robertis, and Feyenoord. Teams, some of those teams we faced before, other teams we haven't faced before. I'm looking at this now, and I want to avoid Group A. I say Group C as well, just for safety precautions. Group B... Not so sure about. I want to avoid Group G as well. Group H, I think I can take on. Group F, I'm not sure if I want to avoid or not, honestly. I think I can take on Group E, though. But Victoria Pleasant, Austin Vien, I think we can beat. I think we can beat Zenit, but I could be wrong. But Group, the third part has got Besitas, Kronberg, Galatasaray, Everton, APOEL, Pauk. Lazio and ourselves. We got the same points as Lazio. Okay, we've avoided the group of death effectively for us. Group B's got Lazio. That could be a good group, but... Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Why? Why do we get Group G? Crying out loud. Can, you, can we at least get a scene that we can be in this group? That's what I'm asking for at this point. At least we avoided... At least we could never get sent anything, thank God. I want to avoid Shatter, though. I, need, I can't get Shatter, please. Oh my god. That's a whole group. That is actually a whole group again. Well, Baptiste, Monaco, Shatter Donetsk. That could not have gone worse. Why couldn't we have gotten like Group E or something? At least we know we can beat those teams, right? Group E, Group D, I would have taken those groups. I would have taken those groups. Well, we're, we're, we're not going to get through the group sets again. We ever never do, do we? Oh my god. Oh, we've also taken on Bessies before, haven't we? Hey, yeah, this is this is fun. I've got to check this. Have we, is it just Betis we've taken before who we take on the first game of the group? I swear if it's just Betis we've taken on before, they're annoying. We've not lost against we've not won against them in two. We drew against them once, but we lost against them as well. We were I remember this game, we were, we were two new up and then we considered two goals later on and we were knocked out. This is what, seven years ago? Good lord. I forgot that was a thing in seven years ago. We've never we've never taken on Monaco, but Monaco is Monaco. We're not going to beat them. Let's be frank. No, I'm not supposed to assume we've, beaten, we've taken on Monaco and we've beaten them in the past. So that's a chance. We have a chance against them. Monaco, we have a chance against We took them on two years ago, actually, as well. This is quite l l recent. Shatter Donetsk, we've never taken on before. And we need to beat Shatter Donetsk. Just have a chance, I think. If it turns out we've taken on Shatter Donetsk, it'd be amazing. Yeah, we've ne never taken on Shatter Donetsk. So this is going to be difficult. We can we beat some Monaco. We've lost. We've drawn against Betis. So... At least we know he, we can beat some teams, right? At least we know who can get points, potentially. Just actually being consistent with it is the difficult part. But anyway, we are going to end this here. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys like and share this video. And that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think we can 
go through to the next round of the Europa League for the very first time. If you say no, I won't be upset because I don't think we, we can. But either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.